This week at EAA, five-year-old Aurora Town and her two-year-old sister Annie are learning pretty quickly what to do when the big planes pass by during the air show. And when the planes go by, the really big fast planes, what do you have to do with your ears? Cover them. Why do you have to cover your ears? Because they're loud. They are two of the thousands of people with eyes glued to the sky enjoying the air show at EAA Air Venture on Thursday afternoon. Some kids even dressed for the occasion. About a 10 minute drive southeast of the EAA grounds, another group is not only enjoying a different angle of the EAA Air Show, but a water show as well. One of the coolest things for us is that we actually get the backside of the air show. Here we get to see them getting into formation, getting ready to back and go over the runways at the main field. Welcome to the EAA Seaplane Base, where the vibe is much different than the hustle and bustle on the actual EAA grounds. Well, first off, uh, we have a very different feel here at the Seaplane Base. It's very Caribbean-esque. It's very relaxed and laid back. According to the sign out front, there's 75 seaplanes registered at the Seaplane Base. One of those planes belongs to Mark Palm, the CEO of Samaritan Aviation, a nonprofit that provides emergency medical air travel to people in Papua New Guinea. He's been coming to the seaplane base at AirVenture for almost 20 years. This is a cool vibe, is the words they use. It just feels different over here, and it's a great place to come relax, bring the kids. A relaxing alternative to the more traditional experience on the EAA grounds. A place that longtime volunteers here call EAA's best kept secret. In Oshkosh, Paul Steno, Local 5 News.